I sorted my coins on the coins in my wallet on which mint they were made at. These ones, which is a, which is the biggest pile right here, were all made at. Oh, were all made at Philadelphia, which is the main mint. It's also the closest one, and it makes the most coins. See, and that's that's why I have this big pile. Denver, which is the second mint, it makes the second most, and it's the second furthest from me. It's this smaller pile, and San Francisco, the third mint, it makes the the least. It's also all the way across the country from me, and I just have this one nickel. It's also an older one. See, it's because it takes a it takes a fair amount. It's 1968, if you can't tell, it takes it takes them a while to get a, to make their way across the country. Don't you, don't you know that? <coughs> um, we have a bunch of foreign coins and an angel token. See, she's got an angel on both sides. Upside down. This one you roll. Here we have two. Here we have a two euro cent. <laughs> Should be hard to see any of this stuff. Let's see. Let's see if it's better. Let's not. <laughs> Not zoomed in any, huh? No, I'm not. Let's see. Alright. Yeah, you can't see that at all. It says Beatrix Beatrix Koningen der, der Niederlanden. And this one says that same thing. Oh, you can see that one. Anyways, this one is 50 euro cent, and this one is 2 euro cent. So now we have Canadian money. We have a Canadian quarter. It's got a moose on the back. It's from, let's see, 2002. Oh, the 50th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's coronation. Here we have, this one's kind of beat up, but it's a Canadian nickel with a beaver. Canadian nickel with a beaver. <laughs> oh, that's really grainy. Maybe not. Let me just move it closer and see if it's over in. And then, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, you can't see that. Now here we have a. Canadian penny, one cent. It's got maple leaves on the back. It's from 1964. And we have, oops, we have Elizabeth II on the front, too. And here we have two French francs. This is a Vichy, I think it's aluminum, actually. It's really light. This is a Vichy French franc from 1944, let's say. Let's sit it on this side. 1944 at the bottom. So it says Travail, or maybe Travail, Famille, Pratri, which is, I think, work, family, fatherland. It says 1 franc, 1944. It says Etat Francais, on this side with an X. And then this one is 1 franc, it's from. Says it on this side. 1988. It says Liberty, Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité. That's Liberty, Equality, Brotherhood. It's 1988. Let's see. And it's got a picture of Charles de Gaulle. And it says République Française, which is French Republic. Now these ones. This one's. This one is a. One centavo from 1906. It's from Estados Unidos Mexicanos, which is Mexican United States. Very interesting. Now here we have one Deutsche Mark. It's, it says Bundesrepublik Deutschland. 
which is Slovene Republic, Germany. One Deutsche Mark from 1980. They don't use Deutsche Marks anymore. They use, um, and the French don't use francs anymore. They use uh, euros, both of them. And this is, uh, this is, it's got a wheat sheaf, 1930. Well, you can see that good enough. It says, Deutsches Reich, which is German Empire. One Reichspfenny. One Empire Penny. Now here we have a Bahama one cent. It's a Bahamas penny. It says it's got a little bit corroded because I taped it to, to the back of the. It's from 2009. I taped it to the back of my record player. It says Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I've got. And then this says one cent. It's upside down. It says one cent. Well, you can't really see it anyways. So this here is a British penny. It's slightly larger. It's about the size of a nickel. Let's see, it says um, 2001. On the back it has one penny. That's my foreign coins and a random angel token. The end. And last, but maybe not least, we have this token with Chinese characters on it. I don't even know which way is up. This one. Maybe this way is up. But I don't know. It could be this way. I just got a square hole in the middle. Muchos interesantes. Adios.